have you with us. We're now joined in studio by the now Glenville State pioneer, Mike Lupus. And Mike, how you doing? Doing fine. How about you? How are you doing? For real. Because we know that you missed the end of the season, and it's been a, a tough couple of weeks for you. Yeah, in surgery tomorrow, bright and early. So. But you're still able to go play in college. It's probably got to be the biggest relief that you've ever had. Yes, sir. What led to this decision for you and uh, why you chose Glenville State? Um, Coach Mullins was really nice to me up there. I mean, nice facilities, great field. I mean, he treated me with, with a lot of respect. So that, that was my final decision. What uh, what are you planning to do in terms of on the field? Are you going to play uh, first or third? We saw you do a lot of different things. Pitch, uh, what's their plan for you at Glenville? Um, anywhere that Coach Mullins wants me. He said he, he might throw me in the outfield. He wants me to pitch a batter or two. I mean, anywhere. Now you say you're going under the knife tomorrow. So mm -hmm. uh, do you know the what the recovery time is going to be? Is that going to get in the way of any sort of? Um, uh, six, six to nine months it will take. And he said that they have a full-time uh, physical therapist up there, so they're going to help me out up there. So six to nine months, that puts you really close to the start of next season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what was also another decision. He, he took a chance on me, and, I mean, I was really thankful for that. You had a great season this past year. Uh, you know, throughout your career, I guess we talked a lot about on the broadcast, you seem to get better and better. Uh, each season, obviously, it didn't end the way you wanted it to with the injury. But uh, just kind of, I guess, talk about your career at Martinsburg and and how you progressed to get to this point. Oh, I just worked hard. I mean, I got surgery last year, and I just had to work hard and get back to where I was. And I just all the hard work got me better. And with all that hard work, uh, obviously now, unfortunately, having to go through another injury, which means another entire process of try trying to work back to where you are and get better. So do, do you know what that's going to entail, I guess, upcoming in the next six oh. to nine months to get ready for another season? Yeah, I think I'll come back a lot stronger. I'm hoping maybe top my four home runs down in Glenville and just come back way better, hopefully play my freshman year. And at the beginning of the season, uh, you know, it was kind of just a couple of you guys being the, the senior leaders. And, you know, we talked with Coach Byler, and he said, you know, I don't think necessarily this team's going to be a, a team that's going to hit the ball out of the park a lot. And then you have four home runs this season. Uh, what is your kind of your mindset going into this last season with the power that you were able to have in your bat? Um, I just I was just hunting the fastball. Like, my father always told me, he was like, I mean, you go down 0-2, you're he pretty much said I was a terrible hitter. But, I mean, I got ahead in the count. I was getting up 2-0 well against great pitchers, and I just hit the fastball well this year. Once once you, you, go ahead, Dylan. Okay. So once you get healthy and you're able to uh, get things going over at Glenville, what's the thing that you still want to improve most about your game? I'm um, hitting the outside pitch. I struggle a lot on that. And probably working more in the middle infield and scooping the ball at first will help me a lot up at Glenville. How much do you think your uh, time with Berkeley Post 14 helped you in this process? <laughs> um, it um, helped me a little bit, but yeah. Unfortunately, you didn't get. You're not going to get to play this summer, though. Yep. I, I know you're getting emotional just thinking about that right now. But just talk, I guess, a little bit more about just how much you credit uh, them and just helping you get to this part because we somewhat know how big even though you don't get to play this summer mm, yeah. them helping you still has been to get to this point even he's never through this summer yeah. he's never played yeah. the yeah. mm. um, they helped me a lot I mean Tripp Trip talked to me a lot and he offered me a spot on the team and sadly I just couldn't play what uh when you go up there to Glenville, um, obviously it's gonna it's gonna be a different part of the state for you, but there's a lot of West Virginia guys on that team. Uh, you know, how cool is it that's gonna be you're gonna be able to play with some other guys from around the state, some baseball rich areas like Hurricane and Parkersburg? I think it's gonna be pretty cool up there. Hopefully get close with all the guys up there. Maybe go hunt or something, fish and just get close with them. What are you planning to major in and why? Uh, sports management, just to keep in like the sports department, and just help me. I mean, I'm attracted to the sports, so I just want to stick with it.